the yoked Department of Defense selected hypersonics launch systems, an Australian aerospace company, to develop a high-speed aircraft that can test hypersonic technologies. The aircraft will support a defense innovation in a program called Hypersonic and I Cadence Airborne Testing Capabilities, or HICIT, the organization, which works to push technology from non-traditional companies to military users, is partnering with the Defense Department Test Resource Management Center and the Director of Hypersonics to help all of each strain on government test infrastructure commercial companies are forging head towards reusable and low-cost test vehicles. Major Rain Weed, a program manager in DU's space portfolio, said in a March 16 statement, the HECA project represents a parting shift in viewing the hot. He gave no value for the contract. Hypersonics did not immediately respond to requests for details. The military services are pursuing about 70 programs aimed at developing aircraft and weapons that can travel at hypersonic speeds or faster than Match 5. Testing infrastructure has been a limiting factor in the technology development process, with many programs conducting only a few trials each year. The Pentagon plans to increase that cadence and eventually flee at least one test per week. And it get as part of that strategy. The aircraft developed by Hypersonics, Cubdarde, will test high-speed platforms components, as sensors and communications and control systems. According to the company, Darty announced a second Hicket award this week with California-based Unix Space. The company builds a reusable tow launch system that the agency expects will improve the efficiency and affordability of iCadence test flights. Neither do nor Phoenix provided details on the value of the contract. The data and analysis resulting from these product tests will accelerate the evaluation of potential weapon system concepts, technologies, and mission sets, Do said. Along with the initial like it awards, the agency said it expects to issue more contracts in the coming months for advanced materials to support product tests.